in this last practical phase, we are going to explore how to export as well as package the files of all the lovely work that we produced during the course. Let's start with the four icons challenge. We created those four icons that you might need to export for different tasks. For example, if you want to just export the artboards as they are, you would go File, Export, Export As, and you would select where you want to export them. So let's create a new folder at the desktop. Those ones are going to be our JPEGs. Create and selecting that place. On the format dropdown, I'm going to select JPEG, which is going to be the classic format, since in this case we don't really have a transparent background or anything like that in order to use a PNG. From the user artboards, I can either select to export all of them or a range if I wanted to export a specific asset. Press export. And then on this menu, yes, we want RGB highest quality possible. And we just need screen 72 pixels per inch. If you press OK, and you go back to your desktop, you will be able to see on the new folder that you just created the four icons being exported as individual icons. Let's go back to Adobe Illustrator and let's say I just want to export the icons without the backgrounds. One way would be to remove the backgrounds and add them on a new layer or the other would be just to lock them and then go to view and use the asset export panel that we showed. I'm just grabbing the asset, dragging it within, and then I can select on what kind of format I want to export my assets or what kind of formats if I want multiple formats. So I want to export them in the normal scale in PNG and double scale JPEGs. I'm gonna press export and again I can select a folder I'm going to create a new one for icons challenge jpeg png i'm going to create the folder select it and press choose you see the message that the export has been successful if i'm now going to go back to that folder let's keep it nice and organized in our desktop you will see that i exported the asset on both jpeg and png format with a transparent background but as you notice, I just exported one asset and the reason why was because I just had selected number 4. If I select all of them holding the shift key down and press export, I can go ahead and export them. Let's pick the same folder, replace those assets and this time it's going to export all of the assets. So it's up to you to select from the assets panel which assets you want to actually export. If it's going to be all of them or just a few of them. So I love this panel whenever it comes to situations like this where you just want to quickly export stuff and quickly grab the illustration, drag them within and press export. Let's close this file, no need to save it. And have a look on our second illustration, which was the three-dimensional illustration. So let's say in this case here, we want to create some different formats that we are going to export for screen. And we want to export for an Instagram post and we want both for a post and a story actually for Instagram. I'm going to go ahead and grab the artboards tool. The 1000 by 500 is a good dimension, but the idea for Instagram is around like 1280. But double check online whenever you're about to export something for social media since they are moving quite fast and they're changing their formats. The stories are 1920 by 180. I don't really need that artboard anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this illustration. I'm going to unlock also the background. Grab it and bring it to one of the artboards. Let's scale it as well. I can also name it Instagram post. I'm going to name this one Instagram story. And I'm going to duplicate this illustration here and adjust it so it fits quite well for a story. Don't forget for the story you have some assets of Instagram at the top and the bottom of your frame. So no need to extend the illustration till the edges. I'm going to select them and enable this button here, the align 
selected our to pixel grid. So you remember we want to have nice and sharp outcome and we are exporting for web so it will be good to have this option enabled. Now that I have both of my artboards ready, I can go ahead and export it. File, export and export as. I can select the place that I want to save it, which I think desktop is okay. JPEG format, I'm gonna use both artboards, so all artboards, and press export. Again, 72 pixels per inch, RGB, everything looks great. Press OK. And if we move back to the desktop, we will see our two new exports, which is our Instagram post and our Instagram story. Both of them, right resolution and right format. And if you notice the name of it, it actually takes the name of the file plus the name of the artboard. So that can save you some time when you're exporting assets to firstly name the artboard so you have the exported file ready to be shared with your client. I'm gonna save this file since we did some changes and we might want to revisit it later on. And I'm gonna open our third file which is a print graphic. So it's the poster that we created for this summer grilling festival. And I want to actually get my file ready to be printed. First of all I need to add some bleed. So I'm gonna go file, document setup and I'm gonna add a bleed which most likely printers are gonna ask you for three millimeters and I'm gonna go to view and then guides and show guides in order to be able to see them. I'm gonna get rid of all those guides since we don't need them anymore and I'm gonna unlock the background in order to extend it till the edges. I'm holding the old key down so it extends both top and bottom and left and right at the same time. The next step, what I usually do is getting rid of all the unused swatches on the panel, just in order to make sure that everything is going to be properly printed. I'm going to go here and select, select all unused, and then I can just bend those colors. Sometimes, like for example, I know black is not used anywhere, so I'm going to manually delete it. It might be somewhere that we mistakenly used it, but it shouldn't be there, so we can get rid of it. So now my file is nice and tidy, and I can go ahead and export the PDF, which is the best format in order to send your file for print. Another thing that you might need to do would be to package your file so you can share also the open file with your client. In order to do so, you go to File, and then Package. You select where you want to export it and also what kind of options you want. Do you want to save also the links, the fonts and create a report? So I usually leave all of them on so I can make sure that all the items related to the project are packaged on a folder. I'm going to select package, press OK and show package. Yes, I want to see what we created. And you see that they have a folder with the fonts that I used. A quick report and my illustrator file. So I can go ahead and perhaps zip this file, so right click and then compress and share the zipped file nice and easily with my client. Now if I'm going to export a PDF, since my composition contains some fonts and some outlines, I might run the risk that someone will open the PDF to further edit it or to perhaps mistakenly change something or might be that he or she is going to be missing links. So the best option would be to make sure that I expand all my outlines and the typography too. So there is no need to send any fonts along with your document. So I'm going to select all the artwork and I'm going to go object, expand appearance, select again all the artwork and go to object, expand, press OK and you see how the typography turned into shapes and the outlines as well to shapes. Now I can go to file, save as in order to access the PDF format, which is right here on the drop down. So Adobe PDF, I'm going to press save. And I'm just going to use the high quality print so I get the best quality from the mark and bleed option. I'm going to use trim marks and I'm going to use also the bleed settings. I'm going to leave the offset on the preset unless my printer is going to ask me for something different. I'm going to press save PDF and now if I'm going to go to my desktop, I will be able to view my PDF 
and see the crop marks and all the colors and fonts being previewed correctly. If, for example, you want to share with your client a vector file, I would suggest using the EPS format. Make sure you use the most suitable file format and you also check all the details of your file before you export your work. Thank you so much for completing this course with me. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did and you find the skills you learned useful. Looking forward to see your lovely work on the forum. Feel free to upload it and share it. Bye everyone!